Hey guys, this is he makes here. Uh, Saturday, uh, just doing this uh, little test, proof or not. There's a standard Chinese Taiwan pump, wherever the heck it's from. Um, two and a half, four pound pressure filter, and you all know what that is. Standard six seventy carburetor battery and some gas what we're trying to do here is just see if it's probably gonna I haven't even switched it on truly not switched it on look that is absolutely dry as a bone right there um, see if that pump overcomes the float for proof I mean normally this obviously the carburetors got the fill the air filter on it and the the um, the 90 degree bend down onto the manifold going to the cylinder so you don't really see what's going on so if we can see down there gas flooding out which which i have seen on the reverse side i've seen gas lap up this way into the normal black filter bottom filter housing tray I've actually watched it wash up there. No, en engine's not running. This is just static. Just plain static, just to see. I'm gonna switch it on. I probably got fuel leaks all over the place, but we'll give it a shot and see if we can actually see gas coming out of it. I'll move you around during the process. So here we go. Gas everywhere. Hold on. <laughs> Try that again. Useless clamps. It's going to drip a little, but uh, not enough to cause any problems. Let's see if we get any gas flowing up here. Oh, excuse the break there. <laughs> Too many bad clamps. Took the filter out. Um, put this back on. You see it pumping, banging away. And then down in here. Let's take a look, see if we can see anything going on in here. I don't see any gas being pushed past the, uh, by the way, the uh, fuel solenoid cutoff is removed. So I do not see anything getting past that at all. So there's another there's another dispelled rumor on this particular carburetor. What was the uh, actual pressure that would overcome the float? This is 2.4 to uh, two and a quarter to four, I think. And that is not pushing past. I can feel it thumping in the carburetor, obviously. It, the pressure's in there. It's with the uh, needle is... Um, being held by the float real good seating real good and I've had this thing apart as you've seen from my videos literally over and over one second let's see wait a second we may have something at the back here No, right there. It's real, it's really light. 
you can, you can see it. It is pushing past. It's really light. Well, obviously this is static, you know, there's no, no pressure from you turning the engine or anything like that. And I can see it just, just weeping. Just on one side. Uh, you guys can't see properly. Just a, just a little bit of weeping. Huh. I'm gonna turn it off and take the uh, idle jets out and take a look here. Yep. Special slotted removal tool yeah, I'm not going to get that other jet out I'm just taking a look down that's what the they look like uh, Honda idle jets, but um, these have been drilled out. Let's just take a look down here. So there's nothing impeding. I didn't see any I didn't see any any wetness on that side. Put the screw back in here. Let's put the pump back on. I don't know if you can see it, there is gas just pushing past needle and seat. Maybe it takes a little while to get to that point. Hey, I'll keep I'll keep playing with this. Um, basically, the pulse pump puts out about one to one and a half psi. So theoretically, this pump should be too much for how it was designed. And I've seen gas, like I said, come back out that way, just on the electric point fuel pump with its static. So at this point, weeping on one side. This is not conclusive. I'll, um, I'll rip it apart and see what we get. Okay, it's a start. See you guys later, bye.